you can see some buildings like Department of History, Department of Political Science, or you could see ICT Vabon, and here the main gate of Dhaka College. Can you see? Know thyself, know yourself. Okay. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. How are you all? I hope that you all are pretty well. Alhamdulillah. I'm also doing great by the grace of Almighty Allah. Anyway, this is Muhammad Mahdi speaking before you. Originally, I was born and grew up in Gupalganj, which is the birthplace of Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman and situated at the southwestern part of Bangladesh. I'm the founder and CEO of Mehidi's English Care, where I've been teaching spoken English since 2020. More than 50,000 learners, they are learning with me from Facebook, YouTube, TikTok and Instagram as well. Apart from that, I'm an English content creator. I love to make English videos. And right now I'm here at Dhaka College, in front of Dhaka College. Know thyself, know yourself, okay? Right, a great motivation. Anyway, today I'm here to teach you something in this video. So let me talk, let me say something about today's topic. Well, normal English versus advanced English. We often say, I feel sad. Dear brothers and sisters, you have to enhance, you have to improve your vocabulary, right? So instead of saying, I feel sad, you are also able to say, I feel blue. What, Ibrahim? I feel blue. Today I feel blue. It's advanced English, okay? Nowadays, you can watch English movies, you can listen to English songs or music or reading newspaper or any types of biggest or big articles and many things. So from there, if you heard that I feel blue, if you can't understand, that's your fault, that's your mistake. If you don't understand what are they talking about, you can speak English, but listening is also important. If you can't understand what are they talking about, how will you be a speaker? That means you have to be a good listener. So we should know at least. If you don't use, that doesn't matter. But nowadays, English has become dominant. Many people are using different types of vocabularies. Why not you? Every day you will eat by uh, pulse, by rice? No, sometimes you need to eat. You need to taste something different, something else. Anyway, sorry, sorry, my mistake. No. Instead of saying my mistake, we can say my bad. There is no wrong in this sentence. You can say my mistake, but you can also say my bad. Sorry, my bad. Okay. Suppose you are in a restaurant, you are eating something. Then you can say your friends that I will pay the bill. I will pay the bill. Right. But instead of saying I will pay the bill, you can say it's on me. It's on me. Okay. Then you always say when you make a mistake, I made a mistake, sorry, my bad, I made a mistake. No, instead of saying my ma I made a mistake, you can say I screwed up, I screwed up, okay, I screwed up. I understand you, I understand you, I feel you, you can say I feel you. In lieu of saying understand you, you can say I feel you, right, I have no money today, <laughs> I have no money. You can say I'm broke. I'm broke. I like you. I like you very much. You can say I'm into you. I'm into you. Today, I'm very tired. Or you can say I'm exhausted or I'm beat. Right? I'm very busy. You can say I'm swamped or I'm tied up. I'm tied up. Okay. Text me or hit me up. Instead of saying text me, you can say hit me up. So these types of advanced English we should use. Actually, I can listen to the call to prayer. That's why I should stop talking now. Thank you very much for watching my video.